everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video all about how I store and organize my small makeup collection and I use these drawers from Ikea and that has been the key for me that I have found over the last year or so on the best way to organize my makeup. I also wanted to mention really quickly that I know I said in my palette ranking video that I don't know how slash never wear a green eyeshadow but I've been really intrigued in finding out how to wear it. So today I tried to kind of dupe the little mint eyeshadow quad from e.l.f. Cosmetics, and this is what I kind of came up with with things that I already owned. So yeah, I actually really like the way this look turned out, but I did just want to mention that since I said that I never wear green eyeshadow. Okay, so now that I'm not in the way, I just wanted to go ahead and show you a little bit of an overview of kind of how my makeup is stored. So I do have my vanity here, which I usually have my chair at, and then I have this little side table that has two drawers, and on top of it is where I put those Ikea drawers I was talking about. So let me just go ahead and show you what's in all of the drawers. Okay, so first up in this drawer, I keep all of my powders. So I do have the press powder from number seven, the loose HD e.l.f. powder, sample size of some, I don't know where these are from actually, but I do have some sample powders. I have this mini from Bare Minerals. It's their mineral veil. And I have this mini from Makeup Forever. And that's it for that drawer. In the next drawer, I keep my brow products. This drawer is pretty empty, but it serves a purpose for me. And I would rather have stuff be more empty than just shove another category in here. So I have the Benefit Cabrow, the e.l.f. Lash and Brow Mascara, the Essence Brow Gel, the Milani Weekend Brow, have some tweezers, this little face razor. I also have this trial size of the Anastasia Dip Brow, and that's it for this drawer. Also, please excuse this little chip on my nail. I bumped it last night when I was painting them, so sorry about that. But these are the two sunscreens that I have. It's the Crave Beat Shield and the Super Goop Glow Screen. I have a couple little samples of these primers. It's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow. I also have a mini of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I have this one from First Aid Beauty, it's the Ultra Repair Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Okay, moving down to the second row. In this drawer on the left, I keep my bronzers and highlighters. I have the Mary Luminizer Highlighter from the Balm. This is what that looks like. I have the Essence Pure, Pure Nude Highlighter. I have this highlighter from Nabla. It's in the shade Privilege. And I have this product, which I know is kind of a multi-use product, but lately I've been using it as a liquid highlighter because I don't have another one. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So if I want to use this as a base or a mixer or anything, I'll just grab it then. And for bronzers, I have this liquid bronzer from Bare Minerals. I have it in the shade Faux Tan. Next, I have this Too Faced bronzer. And I have this in the shade Milk Chocolate. Next, I have this Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. Mine's pretty messy, but I have that in the shade 02 Butter Biscuit. Next, I have this bronzer from Nabla. And I have this in the shade Ombra. I have this bronzer from Flower Beauty. And I have this in the shade Sunrise L1. And my last bronzer is this one from Maybelline. This is their City Bronzer. And I have it in the shade 100. That's it for this drawer. If we move over one, this drawer has all of my blushes in it. Hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. ColourPop I Need Space from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Two of the flower blush bombs. This one's in the shade Nectar and this one's in the shade Bubbly. Liquid blush from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Bliss. Two blushes from Juicy Pang. I'm not exactly sure what colors these are, but there's the bottom of each blush from Etude House. This is their lovely cookie blusher and it's in the shade Ginger Honey Cookie. And here's what this one looks like. This is actually the blush that was the milk stick and it actually came from Sephora as the birthday gift, but I ended up depotting it because I just like the format of this a lot better. So it might not look as pretty, but I prefer to be able to kind of reach in it with a brush versus with the stick. I just felt like I didn't like it as much. Next I have this lavender blush. This is from EG Lips. And it's also a Korean brand. That's what that one looks like. Mini Milani blush in the shade Romantic Rose. Mini blush from NARS. And I don't really understand what the hype is. This is the one that everyone talks about in the shade Orgasm. But I just, um, so far I'm not loving it. That's everything I have in my blush drawer. 
in the last drawer in this Ikea system, I have my eyeliners, mascaras, single eyeshadows, and like glitter palettes. These are two like eyeshadow bases. And then I have my face palettes. So starting off with face palettes, I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Bronze and Glow Duo. Face palette from the Lip Bar. I have this in the shade Go Off. It's the lightest one that they offer as well. And my last face palette is actually this highlight palette. It's the Revolution Makeup and Soap palette. Two matte eyeshadows from Too Faced. They're the Melted Chocolate shadows. And I have the shades Warm and Fudgy and Tiramisumi. Two of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. They're both from the Disney collection. This one's in the shade, so this is Love. And then I also have Almost There. This Melted Chrome eyeshadow from Essence. And this is in the shade Ironic. I have this Kiko shadow in the shade 200. And I also have this Nabla Miami Lights Glitter Palette. So I have three mascaras. I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume, the Lash Freak from Urban Decay, and Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. Liquid Liner from e.l.f. This is their H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. I also have this eyeliner, which I forgot about in my... Uh, full face of most expensive makeup. This is a gel liner from Sigma. I got this for free with purchase and I've worn it twice. The first time I really liked it and the second time it transferred all over my lids. So I need to try this more. I think I've just forgotten about it because I had that bad experience with it, but it was really creamy and very pigmented. Two standard eyeshadow primers. I have the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and the Lorac Eyeshadow Primer. I'm not really sure what this is called behind the seams eye primer. I also have this glitter primer from NYX. Four pencil liners from NYX. I have Pitch Black, Deepest Brown, All Time Olive, and Gilded Taupe. Pencil liner from ColourPop in the shade DTLA. Lastly, I have this nude eyeliner from Essence and it's in the shade Silky Nude. And that's everything that I keep in this bottom drawer. Okay, so now that we have gone through all of the Ikea drawers, I want to show you what's in the drawers of this of this side table. Okay, so these are actually where I keep my eyeshadow palette. So this is what's in the first drawer. And this is what's in the second drawer. This paper here is actually what I use to track the eyeshadow palette that I used for the day. Okay, so lastly is just what I actually store on my vanity. And the first thing is my makeup sponge. Right now I'm using the one from e.l.f. My favorite is um, the one from Shop Miss A. It's the $1.55 sponge, but I tried this because I forgot to pack my sponge when I went out of town, and so I went and got this from CVS. So I have been enjoying it, and I just keep it in this little sponge holder. I either got this from Shop Miss A or TJ Maxx, but I actually think I got it from Shop Miss A. Over here, I keep my brushes. I got this holder that spins from TJ Maxx for about $12, so this is just where I keep all of my brushes. Okay, and on the bottom tier down here, I have this little organizer. I want to start a project pan, and so I think all of those items will go in this section, but for now, this just holds this fan that I'll sometimes use to um, fan after I use a setting spray. In this compartment here, I keep all of my foundations. I like for them to be able to stand up when possible. These two are too tall to fit underneath the top shelf, but I'm more okay with these kind of bottles. Being like that. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream, and I have this in the shade Fair Light. And then this is the Misha BB Cream in the shade number 13. I have the Bare Mineral Original Foundation. I have this in the shade Fair 01. My last two foundations are this one from Oma Beauty. I have this in the shade White Pearl TN1 and the Rare Beauty Foundation. I have this in the shade 140C. I also keep my foundation brush here. This is the Bare Minerals Beautiful Finish Brush, and this is what I use with that powder foundation. In the second compartment, I keep my concealers and my hair clips. So I have this Makeup Forever concealer. It's a little sample sizes, and I'll probably only be able to use this one unless I try to use one for bronzer. I have the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Marshmallow. Next, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy concealer, and I have this in the shade Vanilla. I have the Rare Beauty concealer also in the shade 140c and my last concealer is this one from oma beauty this is their stay woke concealer and i have this in the shade white pearl t1 these are the hair clips that i have i got them off of amazon i just got a pack of four in the last compartment is where i keep lip liners and lip scrubs that don't fit in the lip organizer i have next to it so first i have these two lip liners from kkw beauty i have the shades nude 1 and nude 0.5 
I also have this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. Next I have this dual ended product from Tarte in the shade Romantic. This side has a lip crown and the other side is the lip liner in the same shade. And I have this ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Oh Snap. I have this lip scrub from the Tree Hut, it's the Sugar Lips, and I have this in the Sweet Mint scent. Next I have this pencil liner from Real Techniques. I have these lipstick samples from the Sephora brand. And lastly for that compartment, I just have this EOS lip balm. Okay, next to that first little organizer, I have my two setting sprays that I'm using right now. I have one more dewy option and then one that's meant more for long lasting. Last on my vanity is my lipstick organizer. So I just have this simple lipstick organizer from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So I have the All May lipstick in the shade Worry Less. This is probably my favorite lipstick. It's definitely my most worn and I'm almost out of it. The Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Two of the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine lipsticks. This one's in the shade Glazed, and this one is Cookies and Cocoa. I have a Fenty Beauty Mini Gloss Balm. This one's in the shade Baby Brute. I have this lip scrub from e.l.f. I have this Mini Rare Beauty lipstick. It's in the shade Thankful. I have a mini of this Buxom Gloss in Celeste from Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of their super shiny lipsticks. It's got like glitter in it. This one from Tarte. It's in the shade Rose. It's a really, it's similar to the Fenty Beauty Slip Shines, and I really like this one. It's more of an orangey color. I just have a chapstick from the brand Chapstick. It's in Green Apple. Clear gloss from LA Colors. Alamar Cosmetics Gloss in the shade Birthday Suit. And on the back row, I have five Persona products and one Ofra. So for the Ofra one, this is their Liquid Lip. It's in the shade Pasadena. And I have this splitting up the glosses from the Liquid Lips. So the Liquid Lipsticks from Persona, this one is Flamingo OG. And Phoenix and then for the glosses I have the pink gloss and the coral gloss. Okay the last thing I wanted to show you is actually on the bottom of the side table and I have this little container full of some extra things so I have two empty ColourPop palettes that I can use as kind of a Z palette. I've got three extra setting sprays one is for travel and two are the backups for the ones I'm using now. I have the Super Goop hand screen and then I have a container of makeup wipes to wipe off any swatches or fallout under the eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that it gave you some inspiration if you need a way to organize your makeup. I will try and link below those IKEA drawers for you in the description box if you want to try them out for yourself. I definitely recommend them. And with that being said, that's it for me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye!